beautiful baddies. This is going to be such an easy, fast tutorial, <clears throat> just like you used to be in college. <laughs> I am just kidding. I am going to be using Gems Crafted Gems inks, of course, because they're the best. <clears throat> I am going to be using, I thought I was going to use two browns, but I decided to actually only use one brown. The one I decided to use is called 100% Dirty. I thought it was the perfect color for my wood grain. And once you see how this turns out, you're going to see that it's correct. So I like using a, a rough paintbrush, like one with rough bristles, because I feel like it gives my strokes more of like a woody wood grain. I don't know if that makes any sense, but out of all the wood grains I've ever done, the best result I get is when I use these like kind of just harsh bristle paint brushes. So what I do is I like to go in small sections and to me, it's easier to dip my paintbrush in a medicine cup with the inks. When I used to pour drops of ink on top of what I was already doing, it would cause a reaction in the alcohol ink and then leave like a little separation. So I try to avoid that by just dipping my paintbrush in the little medicine cup and then continuing my strokes. Honestly, wood grains seem like they may be intimidating. I know when I first started, I was intimidated by wood grains. I mean, who am I kidding? When I first started, I was intimidated by a lot of things. But I quickly realized that there was no need for me to feel intimidated because it's just a matter of getting in there. A lot of you probably already know how to do wood grain, but for those of you who are brand new to the industry, do not be afraid to try new things and take risks because you will be surprised at the beautiful, amazing things you can create if you just give it a try. So wood grains is just one of those things. And I promise you, once you do one wood grain, you're not going to be able to stop. They're so addicting. So I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the process all the way around the tumbler. You know, as, as you guys see, I just dip it in there gently and then use my, my paint strokes gently up and down. I don't go to the sides. I don't go side to side. I keep my strokes vertical, up and down, up and down. The reason I do that is to keep those straight lines. Another cool thing is the more that you continue to go over areas, the more that you leave those wood grain looking streaks it's just beautiful. You cannot go wrong. And even though this is kind of such a standard like thing to do, I still can never get over the fact that we can paint a basic tumbler and make it look like it's wood. Like wood grains are so under, I feel like they're underappreciated. But when I was done with this tumbler and I was looking at it, I was like, I freaking made that look like wood. Like that is so badass <laughs> okay not me hyping myself up but i always do tell you guys you have to hype yourselves up queens you just you have to now this is a method that i like to do because i'm impatient um instead of using regular epoxy method which i would have to let the tumbler dry for hours i'm gonna go ahead and use a very th a very thin coat of uv resin it looks like i'm not doing a super thin coat but this is a thick tumbler so i did a nice thin coat and as you can see I'm like kind of st not struggling but like pushing down hard a little bit to like spread that evenly you just need a very thin coat and then I'm gonna go ahead and ombre this beautiful glitter this is a baddie glitter this is one of my custom mixes it is called Jenny it is currently sold out but I am working on restocking this bad boy now make sure you drop your tumbler if you do not drop your tumbler you are not going to get a good ombre. <laughs> Some of you might think that it was an accident, but I did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like to leave my mistakes in here just to show you that no matter what part of your journey you're on, please trust and believe that you're going to make mistakes and it's completely, completely okay. My cup was okay. I was able to save it. Nothing major happened to it. I still continue to do my ombre and I kind of drizzled it very gently. I tilted my tumbler at an angle and I love the way the glitter was cascading down. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to put it on a turner and I am going to hold a UV light. So I, I think I held the UV light for about six minutes. Um, eventually I clicked it off so it would stop turning and I did about two sides on each 
two minutes on each side, that was enough for it to completely cure. Once it was cured, I went ahead and I epoxied with regular epoxy. I did 40 mLs, 20 of A and 20 of B from Flint Sister Supply Shop epoxy. This, is, this was a big boy, so I had to do 40 mLs. Now, my sweet Yvette has the best floral decals in her shop. What I really like about her decals is that it does not matter if you have a dark background or not. She prints these over white ink, so the background is completely transparent and beautiful. However, you can still put it over a dark base and it will show. Now, I like to cut up different flowers and kind of create my own little thing here. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm cutting little bits and pieces of different sticker sheets and just kind of building my own little, you know, cluster of, of flowers the way that I like it. The moment I thought I, about doing this cup, I knew I wanted flowers at an angle. I just kept visualizing it and I, I knew that that's how, the angle that I wanted the flowers to go in. And I love that I'm able to cut different elements out and just kind of overlap them the way I wanna use them. I did decide to do a mama decal. Mother's Day is coming up and I thought this is super fitting. You know, a beautiful wood grain floral tumbler with the word mama. I just loved it so much. And I chose a very light, cute pink to kind of complement the flowers and so that it would really stand out against that dark wood grain. Now guys, if you are interested in the decal sheets from Yvette, I have a discount code. I will link them. If you're interested in the epoxy, it is crystal clear. I also have a discount code and a link in the description. So feel free to take advantage of any of those discounts. If you want to, you don't have to. That's just there as a resource if you want to use it. Now, once I placed my decal, that that was the last step. I thought about adding flowers to the backside, but I was like, no, 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 no. It's perfect. So I went ahead and went in with 40 more mLs. I wanted to do a nice thick coat over this tumbler so that it could be my final coat. I did 20 of part A and 20 of part B, and it gave a nice thick coat. Here is the beautiful shiny product that I ended up with. I'm very pleased with it, very satisfied. I love it so much. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Besitos.